the final 10 minutes of of this course you know i mrali and i never imagined that we would talk to you about the final 10 minutes of this course because uh, we know we are taking on something massive and mammoth and really really uh, back breaking work but we were we were not we were not really worried about the work because because the the inspiration that we received when we learned by mimicry and the influence that we had the opportunity the the opportunity we had for influencing lots and lots of people into thinking differently into making them look at creativity in a completely new way right was was something that that we would never have given up the opportunity of never so final 10 minutes and all that <clears throat> how does one how does one end a a eight week course how does one end it of course the usual you know if it's a, if it's a speech then one gives a word of thanks and things like that but this is not a speech so how, i thought i will end it with with some with some material that you can use from from books so i have about six book recommendations for you and if if you can if you can get these books and if you can if you can actually write to there write to us that you've got these books i i'm i'm having the germ of a new idea maybe we can start a biomimicry club uh, where we can discuss these books in detail uh, some of you who have read these books can can present these books and the biomimicry club can can start to to flourish with all the inputs by the participants you never know where a new initiative takes you right look at all the initiatives around you they all started small with two or three people and then led on to something really really big and important i believe very strongly that the if the if the intention of an initiative is noble enough then there is nothing to stop the initiative from from becoming a very very huge important initiative so with those with that with that beginning let me go to the the books i have in mind for you so books for inspiration all books of inspiration which is why the title is appropriate by mimicry we see started this uh, this this course with this book recommendation is book um this book is special simply because it started the biomimicry revolution i'm not going to give away the suspense i think every one of us must have janine benuse's uh, book in our shelves biomimicry and business brought a completely new perspective to 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 biomimicry for me it's got nice five or six case studies in business where biomimicry has been used successfully and very nicely easily story like uh, you know way of writing um i i'm not going to again spoil the fun just get the book and and remember the remember the case studies and very well written book uh, i i think everyone of us must have this on our shelves too shock spain brush was a big surprise because when i bought this book i i did not imagine that i would get so much information from shock spain brush has got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of industries inventions patents that people have filed in and around biomimicry the author himself is a very famous biomimic so the shock the, the most important part of the shock spain brush would be the reference section because suddenly if you think has there been any invention is any is any lab is any university working on a particular problem you just have to go to the reference section because there are thousands of people all over the world working on biomimicry related solutions and the shocks pain brush captures them very well very well written chapter wise you know organism wise species of organism wise and all that again i'm going to go to spoil the surprise but it's important that you have that book on your shelf so you've got three books on your shelf 
You've got biomimicry innovation inspired by nature by Janine Venus. You've got biomimicry and business by Margot Farnsworth. You've got Sharks Paintbrush by Jay Harmon. And fifth, this, this, is a, this is a book I, I would put in any lecture, any presentation I give. It's called The Fifth Discipline by uh, Peter Senge. Uh, this book was recommended to me by Mr. F.C. Kohli from TCS um, way back in 1993 uh, when I first met him. And it has never left my 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 site after that. So the book is always always with me, a copy of the book I always have. Uh, I recommend it to all, all my friends. And very appropriately, I was leafing through the book. You know, books have this magic, right? You can, I, I'm not going to claim that I've read every page of every book I'm talking about. But books are about, it's it's like, it's like storing grain, right? It's like storing atta and, and, and rice and all that. You just, when you feel hungry, you go and take the rice and eat it. It's not as if you know every grain of rice that's there. In that. Similarly, books. When suddenly you feel like it, you need some information, you go to the book. The book is a, is a storehouse of, of, of information and knowledge. It doesn't mean it has to be read from end to end. That's, that's what I think books are about. So while I was leafing through the fifth discipline today, there's one thing, one on, on, page, number, on page number 57, it says, today's problems come from yesterday's solutions. So brilliantly apt for biomimicry, right? So there's this question, there's the story of a, of a carpet merchant. He's got this beautiful carpet and he sees one small blob in the, in the middle of the carpet. He goes and as usual, just takes, you know, steps on that blob and, and it goes somewhere else. And again, he, slept, he steps on that, it goes somewhere else. So it, it keeps going from the carpet, under the carpet, under the carpet, under the carpet. And then ultimately a, 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 a snake, you know, slithers out of the carpet. But he finds that the entire carpet has been ruined. And so the, 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 the law of the fifth discipline, that is one of the laws of the fifth discipline in the book, says that today's problems come from yesterday's solutions. Which means if we have a problem today, it's because of a solution that we came to yesterday. And if you look at the, the purpose of biomimicry, it's so apt, right? It's so apt that we got the solutions that the world has for, for fuel, for, for energy and everything. But those things have become a problem for us, just like for the carpet merchant. So read this book, put it on your shelf. Hopefully you can take a picture of these books on your shelf and send it to us. Um, thinking in systems, very similar to Peter Senge's uh, fifth discipline, again about systems thinking, Donella Meadows, right? In a very, in a very, it's a little scholarly book, so you need to be you need to be, uh, you know, at your best, at your thinking best to, 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 to read her, to read the book. Um, but again, a book that I will recommend. And finally, I want to come, come to the one book that, that, that brought in a new sense of a completely new way of thinking for me is Ishmael by Daniel Quinn. And um, the, the, it, it led me to understand not why I want to do biomimicry, but why is biomimicry even relevant? That is what the book taught me. So uh, the book starts off very beautifully with, with the author of the book applying to an advertisement. So the advertisement appears in the paper. This is the advertisement in the paper. So the author of the book looks at that. He says, look at this advertisement. So funny, right? Teacher seeks pupil, must have an earnest desire to save the world, apply in person. So teacher seeks pupil, right? Normally we'll say pupils teach, uh, seek teachers. So he applies, Daniel Quinn, up, it was the story, it's a fiction of course. He applies and then he goes into a dark room and in the dark room, there is a very dark portion of the room and that's, that's covered by a glass wall and he looks across the glass wall and he sees a gorilla. And he, he is stunned, he says, what, what is a gorilla doing here? We are, I'm looking for a teacher. And then the gorilla says, I am your teacher. And then starts the whole context of the book. This whole book is about, you know, if you, if I don't think I'll be doing justice to Daniel Quinn if I say the, the book is only about one thing. But what the book did for me was that it helped me understand that we, we as human beings look at the animal kingdom, look at the organisms as separate from us. 
there seems to be a separation, right? It looks as if in cross culture, we keep saying we and them. So it looks as if it is we versus them, them being nature. And somehow, somehow, this is what, according to me, the book is about. It tells you and it, tells, it helps us understand that we have moved away from nature, even though we are part of nature, we have moved away from nature. And that is why we have all the problems that we have. Because when we, when we deal with human beings, we deal with them differently. But when we deal with nature, we deal with them differently. Why is that difference? Is there really a, a difference between the natural world and the human world? And because we have moved away, because we looked at, look at them as separate and us as separate, we do all the harm that we, we do to the natural world. So this book is that, right? It is that perspective that this separation is what is why biomimicry is needed. If there was no separation, then you and I wouldn't be talking to each other today. There would be no need for biomimicry because we would understand. We would have automatically learned from nature. So that's what Ishmael is about. So read that book. It's it's amazing. These are the six books I thought I'll I'll recommend to you before I go. I need to. I think I need to close now because uh, you know we we've been like I said very very excited and I must I must thank all of you for joining this course for being with us and um, you know we, we we have some nice ideas for continuing. We're talking about the biomimicry club and maybe maybe we're talking about biomimicry 2.0 where many of you can start to teach. So it's been a wonderful experience being with all of you. It's always very sad to leave, but leave we must so that the journey continues. Maybe we right now we are getting all of us are getting off the train, but maybe there's a new train somewhere, some other platform where we all will get into. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful meeting all of you. Thank you.